Kami is a PDF annotation tool that's been used by teachers for several years now because it seems to be one of the better tools that you can use on a Chromebook to annotate over top of a PDF. Now, with that said, there are definitely some, it have been some issues with making sure things could get turned in and saving it. But the great news is Canvas has an integration for Kami that they've updated to the point where it's an external tool submission. So what that means is they don't have to leave Canvas in order to access this annotation tool. So what you're seeing on your screen is a PDF that I saved into my Google Drive. And from there, I put it as an assignment in Canvas. So what this allows the students to do is they pull it up on their end and they can annotate right on top of this PDF and then submit. So I'm going to switch over to student view so you can see that. And then we're going to go through how you can set this up just so that you can see kind of how powerful this is on the student end and then also the teacher end. So let me go to student view real quick. And you'll notice whenever I go in this, uh, it says I have one attempt and it's worth 100 points. And immediately it's preparing my file and has everything ready to go. So let's say I wanted to graph this line. All I got to do is take my points and graph across and done. So this is something that would have been extremely hard to do before this integration. You could do it in Kami outside of Canvas, but then you'd have to download it and submit it another way. But with this, once I'm done, I just click Submit. And it saves it in my Google Drive as a student, but also submits the file. So this right here is what's submitted to Canvas. Now, let me leave student view and I'll go show you the teacher end. So here's the same assignment. I go to speed grader to look at it. And here it is. Here is the part that I just submitted. Now on the teacher end, I can go through and do a comment. And from there, the students can log in and see real time the comments you're submitting. So obviously you probably wouldn't tell your student why. Why did you do this? But the feedback on there, you could go through and drag comments and drop them pretty quick on here. And then you could also, if you had an answer key, go over here and upload the answer key once they've submitted to give them additional feedback or the answers to this assignment. So it's a pretty powerful tool. Um, the pricing on this, this is the free part. You'll notice there are several features that are locked that seem like they would be very helpful to teachers. Uh, the paid part includes that. It's just not something the district has paid for. Now, once you're done, let's say I give the student a 50, I submit, and then they're able to see these comments and everything as well and go through. I can also delete the comments if I need to, or they can reply to them with more feedback. So now that you've seen how powerful this tool can be, let's talk about how you go through setting it up. So I've got an assignment here. I'm just going to call it my Kami test assignment. This is already integrated in with Canvas, so there's nothing else you have to do to make this work. All you have to do is create the assignment. This text box up here is where you can put your directions if you want to include more, or you can leave it blank. I'm going to go down here, make sure your submission type is external tool, and then just hit the find button. And what we're going to do is scroll down to where it says the Kami Google Drive assignment. When I do that, it's going to take me to my Google Drive, or if you have it on your PC, you can just hit upload. So either one works. I just know that I had mine in this assignments folder. And if you need to, you can drag this so you can see more of it. I'm going to double click on the file I want to use. And then it'll load here and I just hit select. Once that's done, I've set my other settings for the assignment due date, all that stuff. And then I hit save and publish. Once I do that, you'll see there's the assignment, and that's exactly what the students will also see. So it's a really fast and easy way to go through and give these assignments where students can annotate on top of a PDF. If you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out to us, and we'll be happy to help.